trying to build a strategy and or a system that it's easy for us to understand and easy to obey. We are trying to understand risk management, how does this work and the big one. Everybody, you are not going anywhere if you don't understand how psychology works. Hello Miguel. And we are beginning, today we are starting the beginner module. And we are talking about counter trend lines today. Everybody remember that 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not trading or investment advice. The webinars are for educational purposes only. If you have a question or if you want to send a homework, you can send the homework to the Gmail or Skype or LinkedIn. Hello Hassan, how are you? That being said everybody, let's dive to the let's dive into the live market. So lesson find finding trading opportunities with counter trend lines. Okay. So this is the basic concept. Okay, this is the basic concept. In an uptrend, in an uptrend, the counter trend lines in an uptrend the counter trend lines are going to be positioned in the opposite way as the general trend so if i'm trading an uptrend then i'm going to draw a counter trend line in the opposite way so this is going to be the counter trend line if my trend line is up then the counter trend line must be down okay so this is the uptrend line the general trend line the uptrend line the structural uptrend line whatever is up then the counter trend line is going to be down hello zuelios como você está and the same goes with the downtrend we are making lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs right and we are going to draw a downtrend line something like this so this is a downtrend line and it's pointing down now the counter trend lines are going to be positioned in the opposite direction so if the general direction is down the market is making lower lows lower highs our counter trend line is going to be positioned in the opposite direction so it's up in a downtrend right nothing special nothing so difficult right okay now and this lesson everybody is an upgrade from the previous lessons okay now we have two kind of counter trend lines okay so we are going to have the structural counter trend line And again, structural counter trend line. Okay, this is going to be one. And then what we are going to have, we are going to have trend, the trend, trends, counter trend line. Okay, so this is the basic concept. In an uptrend, the counter trend line is going to be positioned down. In a downtrend, the counter trend line is going to be positioned up. Okay? Now, this is an upgrade. Why is that? Because we told you, we told you that the best place to enter is when the retracement is over, everybody. Remember? So we are going to have in an up structure, we are going to have the market making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And then in a retracement, we are going to have the market is going to make lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. Right? Hello VA sir, how are you? So this in here, when the when finally the market shifts the short term trend. This is where what where the so-called structural counter trend line is going to occur. Okay, so this is number one. 
those are the best entries everybody put it as you want it those are the best entries in on any time frame any asset class stocks bonds mutual funds whatever cryptos forex those are the best entries okay so this is going to be the structural counter trend line counter trend line break okay so this is number one but many times we are we don't pay attention right or we just miss the entry or we were late to the party or we were on vacation so we didn't enter in the the best place but the market continues its way to the next right to the next structural high so we are going to have the other and again this lesson is an, it's an upgrade why is this the best entry is because of the stop loss at the beginner level everybody your stop loss should go below or above structure and again you can accept what we are teaching you you can reject you know no problem so this is why this is the structural counter trendline break is the best place to enter and it's related to risk this is going to be red it's related to risk and reward right so this is the logic but many times you know we are late to the party we were on vacation or simply we didn't check the currency pair or we didn't check the correct time frame and it's still okay because we can trade if you want we can trade the trends counter trend lines right so every time that the market retraces okay let me take here every time that the market retraces and we're talking about a trend retracement right we can enter in the next opportunity when the market breaks the counter trend line counter trend line break counter trend line break counter trend line break right counter trend line break so the market really gives us plenty of opportunity to enter okay but as you can see everybody every time that you enter in a different place from the best place right then what do we have we have a challenge as a beginner trader we have a channel to it we have a challenge with risk reward right so we cannot put our we cannot put our stop loss above or below the market structure because then we are going against the rule that we should make more than we risk right so this is the good news and the bad news anyway if you're a beginner trader everybody try to enter if you can so this would be your homework as a trader okay ongoing homework let's write this down it never stops ongoing homework number one try to enter at end of retracements try to enter at end of retracements and number two try to enter in an extension with CTB counter trend and break so this is your ongoing homework everybody if you are trading or if you want to be a professional trader or you are aspiring to be a trader okay your job as an apprentice trader is in, on any time frame every time frame every currency pair has its own structure we are clear about this so this is the ongoing homework try to enter when you are analyzing the market when you are preparing yourself for the next week on Friday Saturday or Sunday try, and when you are analyzing the market try to find the best entry 
and the best entry is number one try to enter at the end of the retracement those kinds those kind of entries are going to give you the best risk reward based on structure of course and if you cannot find then you go on with number two try to enter in an extension with the counter trend and break hello any how are you namaste patak how are you patak sir how are you namaste namaste okay everybody any questions so far nothing so difficult right nothing so special nothing so difficult this is more or less common sense now what is challenging everybody hello Santano what is challenging this is theory right this is theory I'm going to delete some of the things delete 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 now this is theory right what is the problem this is theory and starting from here this is the market right this is the challenge for the beginner trader right the red is theory it would be easy right to have a smooth uptrend and you would just enter on counter trend line counter trend line counter trend line right hello Dilshat how are you but unfortunately sometimes the market is the yellow line right and the question everybody and the, uh, I mean not the question the answer is easy don't don't trade this one try to find a smooth trend and you can find a smooth trend and don't trade this yellow line when it's up, up and down and sideways and two higher highs and two lower lows and it's all a mess okay but truth to be told you can make money also out of the yellow line sometimes you are going to lose and if you your risk is in place nonetheless in the end you are going to win you are going to have a opportunity with the counter trend line break also on the yellow line right but as beginner trader wh why would you trade this yellow mess go go try to find ends decade is one everybody try to find a smooth uptrend or a smooth downtrend right where it's not in, in a chaotic state and then you can apply this counter trend line break concept okay no questions everything is clear very good now so we are talking about structural counter trend lines and we are going to, and we are talking about trends counter trend lines so this is gbp cad weekly chart right gbp cad weekly chart and so extension retracement let's color code this in different color extension retracement green you know so the on the gbp aud weekly chart the structural counter trend line is this one this would be the structural counter trend line because it's it we are going to put the counter trend line right above structure GBP AUD yes Miguel did I said something different GBP AUD yes GBP AUD weekly chart maybe I said something different I'm sorry okay so the best entry was this one patient did you enter here no I did not I did not I didn't trade the GBP pairs for quite a long time everybody I was not trading the GBP pairs because of the brexit so 
no I didn't enter here but I entered in different other different occasions so as we said we have this structure counter trend line right like in here which gives us the best risk reward ratio based on structure right but if you didn't enter or if you won't enter or you are going to miss right tomorrow and the day after and tomorrow again the next day again so we can re-enter with the trends counter trend line breaks Miguel do you have a question GBP edit to our chart so this is structure everybody and on the weekly chart where is the trend counter trend line break where the trends counter trend line break is the, here was an opportunity to enter on the GBP AUD here was an opportunity to enter on the GBP AUD here was an opportunity to enter on GBP AUD here was an opportunity to enter on the GBP AUD right here was an opportunity to enter on GBP AUD and right now from the weekly so again this is our uptrend line okay so on the weekly chart the market is making higher highs higher lows we are in a retracement right now one more here we had an opportunity to go along with the counter trend line break so as you can see everybody you have plenty of opportunity to enter right now let's move a, let's move a step further right so question for you every, everybody can I short the market right now GBP AUD weekly chart can I short the market right now this lesson today is an upgrade everybody can I short the market right now on the weekly chart the market is falling you can say yes you can say no you can say I don't know you can say no don't short the market this it's risky you know don't short the market we are in an uptrend line on the weekly chart we are in an uptrend from the weekly everybody can I short the market and it says no why not Teacher any the market is falling in front of my eyes for the second week and most likely this market is going to fall until Friday I don't know right I, I don't have the crystal ball Santano no why not the market is falling why not not on the weekly Romar. so if not on the weekly on what time frame can I short the market not on the weekly so finding trading opportunity with this with counter trend lines everybody here is how the same concept right so counter trend lines in an up, uptrend you can also apply the counter trend lines or in a downtrend and you can also apply the counter trend lines in a retracement two hour maybe the train left the station too far short them at the two hour chart okay so we are going to move from the weekly to the two hour chart right two hour chart and as you can see everybody the market is retracing right on the on the weekly we are in an uptrend still on the weekly we have an up structure on the weekly and I'm going to push to a lower time frame I'm going to the one hour chart right so on the one hour chart what is happening well this is 
extension retracement and we are in extension right now so let's color code this in a different color this would be the first extension something like this this would be the first retracement something like this and transparency and here there you go transparency right and the market is in an extension so where are the opportunities well the risky one right because it's the first one this would be the risky one this was the counter trend line break of the structure on GBP AUD one hour chart and this was a risky entry everybody why is that because the market was not pushing down yet last lower low not broken says Patak Santano market is still inside a leg of up structure as learned yesterday yes it is a retracement though yes so if you want everybody you can trade the retracements on the smaller time frames with the counter trend line breaks right so we have a down trend line like this and we have another down trend line like this right and as we said the same logic goes with the downtrend right we have a downtrend line so where was the time where was the opportunity to enter counter trend line break in here 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 my dogs are fighting so something must is happening in the market and as you can see everybody the market is still pushing down right so if you want if you want wait wait for the market for the next retracement on the one hour chart and short the market right on the next counter trend and break it was only 75 percent show ADP Chrysler what is a ADP my friend show ADP swing trade what is ADP okay everybody but remember we're going to move back on the weekly chart remember we didn't learn yet we didn't learn yet but I'm going to delete 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 a few things here from the one hour chart just to see the candles right remember that we are going to hit pass support we didn't learn yet we're going to learn this in future lessons okay let me see if we have no we don't have so we have different levels of past support okay but if you want to make some money this is the way you know oh no I'm going to wait we talked about this everybody I'm going to wait for the weekly chart to reverse well you can wait for two three weeks maybe one mo a month and two or two right so one way to use the counter trend lines is to find structure on the smaller time frames the dogs are the live alarm for them yes they are Stoyan <laughs> yes they are they, I train them everybody if you don't know I'm going to show a picture one day if you don't know I have two dogs one one it's uh, one it's called Fibo from Fibonacci and the other it's Ichi like Ichimoku and they always fight when Fibonacci is up Ichimoku is down when Ichimoku is down Fibonacci is up it's a mess Co Komaro with fish. What is a fish? Clays love this Canada maple leaf. That support is also a pivot point. Yes, sir. Oh, Co Komaro, do you want to check GBP CA Jeff? 
Do you want to check GBPCHF with counter trend lines? Okay, Ju just to just to resume everybody. So your ongoing homework as a trader try to enter at end of retracement. Everybody, this is the kind of entries that you want to find out when you analyze the market. Okay, it doesn't matter what currency pair and what time frame those are the best entries and number two if you cannot find an entry like this on 23 currency pairs time four time frames monthly weekly daily and the one hour two hour four hour chart then go with the number two try to enter with an try to enter an extension right with the counter trend line break and remember the market is going to behave something like this you know but in the end still if you're going to apply all the concepts okay you are going to win some you are going to lose some but in the end you are going to win because the market is going to follow structure and it's going to push up and it's going to give you the opportunities to make more money than you have lost and of course if you have your risk management in place Stoyan, would you explain about the counter trend lines do you draw them as a normal trend line connecting highs but just on the retracement side could explain why is riskier to enter in the first counter trend line in the 4 hour structure yes sir Eddington sent 20 pairs for all exotics no, <laughs> no. I mean, you can do anything you want, right? Eddington, you are right, my friend. Some some traders are asking, oh, what about USD Turkish Lira? What about the Mexican Peso? What about the Singapore Dollar, you know? You have cheaper currency pairs. So, let's go with number one. Can you explain that? Okay, let's open, what? Euro JPY, Euro JPY. 15 minute chart 15 minute chart okay stoyan you need to find the trend okay like in here okay you need to find a trend so i'm on your it really doesn't matter the time frame and the currency pair so we are in a downtrend right downtrend we are in a downtrend on Euro JPY 15 minute chart. Okay? And Zuelius, I'm going to explain to you it here is it's the same reason, okay? So first with Stoyan, right? When the market is going to make this is not a rule everybody, but it's a concept, okay? When the market is going to make the first three candles okay first three candles somebody draws above or below the first two candles but when you have the first so this is the downtrend and the market made the low okay the market made the low stoyan so i have the first three candles then i'm going to draw my counter trend line like this i'm going to connect the first three candles and this is the fourth is moving up so i need to adjust my counter trend line one two three four five right i'm going to leave it like this didn't close now this was one counter trend line break right the market push lower sideways and went down so I'm going to wait one two three see Stoyan I have again I have passion I cannot see okay so this is how we draw counter trend lines everybody thank you Stoyan I have one two three right so this is another low I have three candles and I can draw I can start drawing another counter trend line like this right 
and give me a second everybody <clears throat> there you go right so and as you can see this was not a counter to line and break the market didn't close the market didn't close so I need to adjust right this is my counter trend line the market is pushing higher and higher I need to adjust you know and it's pushing higher right you know and it's pushing so still didn't break now now hey uh, now I have a counter trend line break I know how to draw them just asking because I had a trouble in the beginning and I'm not sure there are others now too well in a downtrend you start your counter trend line from the low and you need to find the first three candles so let's see what is going to happen here the market is falling one two three so I have again one two three I cannot break any any candle so one two three four now this was the signal right and the market was falling one two one two three again connect the low and stretch the counter trend line adjust the counter trend line right and let's see didn't close did not close you know we need to stretch I'm going to leave it like this sideways okay now this is if this is okay we have another higher highs here so this would be the counter trend line break right now like in here everybody this is why it's important for you to learn how to draw and how to adjust trend lines okay Stoyan, did I answer to your question? When you see a high or a low, then wait for the first three candles and then start to draw. Okay, now Zuelis, why why was riskier? It's because Zuelius, it's because so back in time, right? the this was the opportunity here okay back in time Zuelius what what if this is the market right and you want to enter short on the one hour chart what do you see on the weekly chart Zuelius Everybody's values asked could you explain why is riskier to enter in the first counter trend line in one hour structure? No, sir, you cannot cut <laughs> that handle week. Yes, you can Yes, you can Eddington this time. Yes, you can Because a trend line is a uh, tool that confirms a trend yes you can Eddington yes you can this time you cut the handle yes you can Zuelius what are you seeing on the weekly chart before so this is the one hour chart right let me compress the chart this is the one hour chart and you would enter where is the where is the counter trend so this is the one hour chart right and let's so this is the entry vertical line and you have on the one hour chart you have the markets making lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs Zuelius Eddington is right no it's not no it's not no it's not no it's not everybody this trend line is correct no it's not Romar no it's not right this trend line is correct like this a trend line is a tool that confirms the trend okay 
and this trend line is okay because you have a higher high up in here and the market didn't close down here so as a signal this trend line is okay if you are going to draw Romer and Eddington if you are going to draw this trend line this counter trend line like this this is not correct This is not correct everybody. Don't mix apples with bananas, okay? The counter trend line is like this. The market was like this first and then went sideways. Okay, one more time everybody, then we're going to push back to Zuelius question. So one, two, three. First it was like this. Next candle you leave your counter trend line like this didn't close next candle didn't close next candle didn't close next candle didn't close next candle went up see what is the signal everybody don't mix apples with bananas what is the signal to go short? What is the signal? Don't mix apples with bananas. Okay, this is the wrong way to go. What is the signal when entering the market? One, two, three, this was the first one. What is the signal, everybody? Are you going to... Uh, when counter trend line appear are you going to adjust your counter trend line based on the weeks or based on the bodies everyone don't mix apples with bananas okay Okay, going back, Zuelius, where are you? Candle formation not on the scenes we had, it's always fun, or the white candle, understood, you are going to have a blah, blah, blah. but it closed, okay. Zuelius, so w why is this one the, the, is riskier? Well, if you are going to enter on the one hour chart and you go on the daily, which is your confirmation time frame, okay, the daily chart, where is the what do you have what do you see from the daily chart and i'm going to do it something like this what do you see from the daily charts values transparency No, it's not the week. No, it's the body, everybody. The body is going to give you a signal. Counter trend line breaks, trend line breaks, everybody. It must close a body, not the week. The market's making higher highs, higher lows, whatever, higher highs, higher lows. And snap to candle, okay? Okay? If you have a if you have a week like this and the body closed on the upper side this is not a counter trend line break this is not a trend line break everybody in order to in order to be a trend line break the market must close the body you must see a, ho a whole body candle on the other side of the trend line this is new you never said this before maybe yes maybe no yeah I'm a nice guy I think Tony <laughs> you know Romar this is not new my friend you have the Forex trading course from 2019 this is not new stuff Romar Eddington knows this Miguel knows this and he knows this and every other, other trader from 2019 knows this. 
But as Ellington says, I'm a nice guy, you know. Zuelius, why is riskier? What are you seeing from the daily chart? Is the market making lower lows, lower highs from the daily? Romar, I'm going to answer you. Just let me finish with Zuelius, okay? Any examples of trading structure counter trend line? Yes, King. And the answer is you must do your homework, my friend. You must do your homework. Try to find counter trend line breaks on structure. This is your job, King. This is what you should be working on. So, as you can see, Zuelius, before entering the structural counter trend line on the one hour chart, the market was not making lower lows, lower highs on the daily. This is not a low, it's not even a low and it's not a lower low. Right? So, this is why this is a risky entry. But if you wait, Sooner or later, wait, 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 right, it's going down, pushing down, so now you have a lower high, Zuelius, are you still with me? So this is what, where you have the first high, low, lower high, lower low. Now the, so the best entry, right, this is, where is the picture? So this is theory, right? And if you want to enter, if you want to trade the retracements, right? So this was the best entry, but when was the best entry was also the risky one because you didn't have lower, low, lower, high. Yes, it was, yes, correct. Okay, so talking about counter trend lines, now this would be a a less risky one, let me correct here. Click, there you go. And if you go on the one hour chart, one hour chart, so this was, this was the, still risky, right? Because retracements are riskier than extensions, but this would be a less risky, less risky trade. Because you have a confirmed lower, low, lower high, and then it would be easier or at least less risky. Counter trend line, counter trend line, counter trend line, counter trend line, counter trend line break, counter trend line break, counter trend line break, counter trend line break. Okay? Romar, so when do you adjust them? Everybody will learn this. We learn this one more time, one more time. A trend line is a tool that confirms the trend. A trend line is a tool that confirms the trend. So, are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? Romar, are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? Three candle theory, same we follow in uptrend. Yes, candles. So where will be the stop loss above the daily structure or hourly? Great question, Santana. What do you think? What do you think? I mean, I already gave you the answer before. If you can enter the structural counter trend line, the stop loss goes, abo goes above or below the structure high or low and if you miss the train then you need to check where to put the stop loss in order to earn more than your risk Romar, are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? I think if we have to respect the weeks in the counter trend it would be very difficult to draw it 
Miguel Eddington and Romer are not wrong. Okay, they are just mixing apples and bananas. They are not wrong. If we are talking about a trend, then you must respect the wicks. But if we are talking about a trend line break, what gives you the confirmation is the body of the candle. Vincent uptrend, Romer uptrend, Eddington up, uptrend, up. Teachers, but the market is making lower lows, lower highs. How are we in an uptrend? And the market broke the uptrend line. Up structure downtrend. We are not talking. This is just a trend, okay? Santana and everybody else. Forget about structure. This is a trend. Are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? Okay, so what is your question, Romar? You said, oh, it's clear, it's clear. So what is your question? Everybody remember, Romer, say, Romer says, when the market makes a higher high, we adjust the trend line. That's clear. Okay, so, not break the least lower low. Yes. Congratulations to you, everybody. You, you learned this. Not every high and low, not all highs and lows are relevant. So, those are the relevant highs and lows. And this is not structured, this is a simple uptrend, everybody. Right? Okay. Structure not break, up structure, maybe double bottom. We are still in an uptrend, everybody. Don't confuse the things. Uptrend, yes. Okay? Now going back to the counter trend line breaks, as you can see everybody, you can also trade retracements, but remember, where are we? Remember the concept, this lesson is an upgrade of what you have hopefully learned so far. Look in here everybody, number 2 says try to enter in an extension with the counter trend line break. Okay, and this is GBP AUD weekly chart. How can you enter in an extension on the GBP AUD weekly chart? You can't, right? Christian, Euro dollar, what time frame? We have 10 more minutes everybody. Christian, I'm going to enter for I'm going to wait for your answer. Okay. So just in here to help you. Star 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 star. Remember retracements on the higher time frames are extensions on the smaller time frames and star 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 be careful because in the end the higher higher time frame is going to control price direction and market uh, not price direction price movement price movement and market direction on the smaller time frames There you go everybody, number one, try to enter at the end of retracement, number two, if you don't find, 
try to enter in an extension with the counter trendline breaks. Remember, retracements on the higher time frames are extension on the smaller time frame, so the market is retracing on GBP AUD weekly chart, but it's extending on GBP AUD one hour chart. And also, where is the also? Number two, be careful because in the end the higher time frame is going to control price movement and market direction on the smaller time frame. So if you want to short the market on the one hour chart, on GBP AUD weekly chart, remember that pay close attention near this level. Because sooner or later the market is going to hit pivot points and support and resistance levels. Christian euro dollar for our chart. When do we adjust the counter trend line break? We don't adjust. There was a candle which had a higher high value and it closed. Romar, I don't know. I'm going to have time. Okay. Romar, you adjust the trend, but I need to show you because it depends. So if not, you're going to mix again the things. Euro dollar. Euro dollar for our chart. Christian, what is your idea? Do you want to go short or do you want to go long? Romar, I'm going to answer to you tomorrow, okay? For our chart. So what what do you see everybody? This is a four hour chart. Four hour chart. Euro dollar it's not the easiest pair to trade for the beginner traders right we were in an uptrend then Christian we were in a downtrend then we were in a short uptrend and then again we were in a short downtrend and then we were in a short uptrend right and then we were in a short downtrend, right? Everybody, is Euro dollar for our chart tradable or not? It's a million dollar question. Because in or you need to be skilled both ways, everybody. You need to be skilled on how to make pips and money and you need to be skilled on how not to lose pips and money is this currency pair tradable or not on the 4 hour chart Christian says long no sir no it's not long Teacher Christian, how how are we long? The market's making lower lows, lower highs. Okay. Teacher Christian, you're my teacher, I'm your student. Teacher Christian, how can we be long? The market is making lower lows, lower highs. I think it broke out of the wedge to the downside. Everybody, if you are a beginner trader, you need to spatially understand and see. Passion, can I trade this currency pair? Yes, you can, okay? Yes, you can. But is this currency pair tradable? Live for pros. Congratulations, King, you are intelligent. Everybody, this currency pair on this time frame. Why would you? Everybody, listen to me. This is a friend talk. I'm your friend, okay? Why would you trade and lose time? You would you would lose your precious time. Why would you analyze and try to figure out this sucker when you have smooth trends on other currency pairs? Why would you waste your time 
it's just my opinion okay you can do anything you want you can you can analyze this for five hours straight you know why would you why would you waste your time with this sucker in here you have smooth trends on other currency pairs why are you wasting your time on this one yes Eddington Eddington is different he has a crystal ball okay <laughs> no problem you know <clears throat> Uh, Christian I'm not criticizing you okay I'm just saying everybody I know some of you like euro dollar okay I'm not criticizing you I'm asking you if you as a trader this is a friendship talk I'm, I'm your friend okay why would you waste your time trying to figure out something like this if, when you have smooth trends on different currency pairs no it's not I'm not right it's it's not being right or wrong you know but if I'm a beginner trader man I'm going to leave this alone believe me I know some professional traders and they are out of euro dollar they don't trade this sucker okay I have some friends, professional traders, what are they waiting? They are waiting for the market to break those two levels everyone. They put alarms above this high and they put alarms below this low. And they are staying out because this market is undecided based on their opinions. Okay, let the bears and the bulls fight in here, I'm staying out. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to drink a coffee or a beer, you know. I'm going to take a walk with my dogs. I'm going to play with my children, but I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to read a book or watch a movie, but I'm not going to waste my time with this sucker in here. No, sir. Okay, everybody, see you back tomorrow. Stay strong and trade with passion. I mean, don't trade this one. Trade those. Those ones. See you back tomorrow, stay strong and trade with passion, this is FX Passion signing off.